from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Alan Crow. All right, 47 after the hours. We have heat advisories coming up today. Tulsa South, uh, those counties that are highlighted in the yellow, and that means the heat index 105, and maybe size 110. Those higher values will be along both sides of I-40 South, where excessive heat warnings are posted along the Red River Valley. And as we go into the weekend, those excessive heat warnings will kind of nudge northward. And the counties that are highlighted in orange or whatever that color is, that's uh, an excessive heat watch. Uh, that means the potential for those areas to be uh, highlighted also into heat advisories or heat uh, warnings coming up this weekend. So basically, it's going to be a heat forecast. Uh, Hurricane Hillary yesterday morning was a tropical storm, became a Category 1. It's now Category 4. You talk about a rapid intensification. It's moving west-northwest at 13. Winds are gusting at 175 miles an hour. This is the one that's going to move north and then turn near the Baja by Sunday and Monday. But it will be weakening or dropping down its intensity, but still a tropical storm into Southern California. And then as a depression, or extra tropical system as it moves across portions of California and Nevada. This is going to bring a lot of rain across the western part of the country, also all the way up to places like Salt Lake City, and there will even be some rain in the Denver area uh, with some moisture, but most of that moisture stays west. And notice this big ridge of high pressure right across the middle part of the country. That's our dominant weather feature, and there will not be any major storm system getting underneath this ridge of high pressure, and it's going to stay parked near our area for the next several days. So 95 today, 102 Saturday, 103 Sunday, 101 on Monday. The heat index is going to be around 110 to 111 this weekend. And because of that ridge of high pressure, at least initially here for the next several days into next week, low probabilities by next weekend, by next weekend, a little bit of hope on the horizon that things will start to change. We're also watching here over the next five to seven days, our friends at the National Hurricane Center indicating there's about a 30% chance of a tropical-like system developing in the southern Gulf. If it does develop, I don't think it has a direct impact on our weather with rain or showers or storms, but could provide some clouds for the middle part of next week. So 60s and 70s right now, 74 at Jinx at 69 in Wilberton. I'm sorry, 66 in Bartlesville, 72 in Wilberton, 69 in the Podo area. Uh, so high temperatures today, triple digits south of I-40, 95 in Tulsa, 92 in Bartlesville, so still a little lower to the north compared to the south. We throw on the heat index. This is the snapshot at 4 o'clock today. Tulsa's right on that bubble of 105, 106, so we're in the advisory. 110, 111 along and south of the I-40 corridor. Tomorrow morning starts in the 70s. And then here we go. It's going to be a very hot weekend. Saturday's highs, triple digits near and west of Tulsa. There will be a couple of spots here in far northern Oklahoma that will stay in the upper 90s. Of course, it's going to feel much warmer with that heat index. So our summer pattern, yeah, it is gripping and holding on. It's got like both hands on the steering wheel right now. And that's going to continue on for the foreseeable future.